Welcome back to Megazoid's Hut. So I've knocked up a couple of cases for the test boards. Just uh, used bodge wire to fix the up and down issue. So they both work now. He says, yeah. <laughs> this one's the Pro, sorry, Teensy with its ancient mini USB there. Look, one good thing about that is you're not going to get the charging rot. Right. You're going to always, obviously, you're going to go and find a mini USB. <laughs> Oh, Boris goes skiing. That's a blast from the past. Sinclair Spectrum. And yeah, this one, which is the slightly newer uh, Cathy 3K, I think it is, the bootloader. Oh, you'll see, I used a sort of um, slightly opaque print here. Clear Pet G. Ah, it turned out all right. It's got some lines on it, but it's not too bad. Just as, because I was interested to see, you know, what it would look like with this sort of slightly clear front on there same on the rear as i said the only real difference when you print the cases is the is the ports there but yeah everything works on them it's very easy these are, these cases really just mi remixes you know manosh manok <laughs> i'm never going to get his name right but uh, they're basically just his design but i did make uh, some alterations i'm not sure why I thought those would look quite cool, those holes, which he, he had on there, but I'm, I'm not so sure. They probably looks a bit better without them. Uh, but yes, very easy to disassemble. There's the bodge wires. Just all pop fit, really. No fasteners at all, which is great. It was a bit of a struggle to get at. You just have to get the button in the right place. So that's the teensy. Now that was a bit of a pain to get on to solder on so many pins. Uh, so that's probably the only downside. But the upside of that is compatibility. You can do not using the alternate wiring. This is the original wiring. So this is really Blinky was right. Mr. Blinky was right. This is the one to go for. The other one with the alternate wiring, it's going to be a pain. Because you're going to have to be um, using alternate wiring games or configuring them yourself. Whereas this this one, you can just download the regular library, and away you go. So yeah, I don't know. Ended up going down this route, and I wasn't really uh, wanting to just make a very standard RG boy. I haven't. Uh, I'm still thinking about what else to do, but I thought I'd, I'd quite like to get an RG Boy. Lovely press fit, that. I'd like to get an RG Boy FX in the hands so I can actually play some, some games on it. <laughs> but yeah, these are, these are, I suppose, are finished, although I need to make some alterations, which I'll show you later. Yeah. I set the recharge to very low, uh, 120, 125 milliamps. So it does take a couple of hours to charge, but it's a very safe way to do it. So I spent about a day redesigning the case, uh, it's Manox's Manox case. Um, I, yeah, I had to make quite a few changes, obviously, to get the PCB version in there. It's, uh, I think it's a tiny fraction bigger, but you probably wouldn't hardly notice it and then I've made a well. There's quite a, quite a few changes there, really, but uh, still his design. If you if you want to be honest, um, yeah, that's pretty much finished for those. Uh, don't think they need any more work. The PCBs, uh, I've had to clean them up. I'm still in the process. I haven't done um, Mr. Blinky. The, the this is the one that I think is worth going for. In fact, I might not even bother sending off the Pro Micro one. Because I just don't think that's the way, that's the route, that's the thing about doing sort of prototypes is like you find out, uh, you find out what you want to do or where you want to go. So uh, I don't think that's worth pursuing with the alternate wiring. Plus I did find this seller, this is the one I bought my teensy off and that's not too bad. You get the case, you get the, well you don't need the case, but you get the very short lead in there because a lot of people probably aren't going to have a micro USB lying around anymore. So I don't think that's too bad. Some of the sellers on Amazon, AliExpress uh, just want crazy money for the Teensy. I just wouldn't wouldn't touch it for that kind of money. And there's another one here. It's not too bad. 
Uh, these are free shipping. This is a breakdown of the cost. Now I thought it was going to be a bit cheaper, so I, it wasn't really a clickbait thing I was saying in the first video. I was like, super cheap. I had a lot of these components already, so it, in my mind it was quite a cheap um, uh, a project. However, if you sat down, I sat down and sort of costed it all. Now some of these are multiples, you know, you get 20 conductive push buttons and you get a um, trying to remember the buzzers, you get a whole pack of buzzers, but you're looking at £30 or $38, I think, if you had absolutely nothing in the house. Still not too bad, it's cheaper, I think, it's cheaper than the, uh, what is it, the mini, if you bought the full mini kit, $52, not quite up there, plus, if you're the sort of person that likes putting things together, it's not really about the money. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a look on AliExpress actually just to have interest to see what was out there and uh, there's some weird and wonderful things. I don't know what this is exactly. It looks, I mean, absolutely hideous with those screws there and it looks like it's made out of sort of milled aluminium or something. <laughs> absolutely crazy. Um, there's the FX in there, 50, 50 quid though, and it just looks looks a little bit nasty. Uh, but then if you want to get really nasty, then there's this one. <laughs> It's like, wow, really? You had the you had the nerve to sell that. Okay. And then there's this one, which is cheap. It is cheap. There's no doubt about it. I've put, some people have probably seen this. Or a lot of people have seen this. Uh, the key, key Studio. It isn't the FX. It, you know, it's so hideous to look at that I just wouldn't. I wouldn't have it in the house. Uh, it's horrible. Uh, however... Uh, cheap, I suppose if you just wanted to get your hands on a on a Argy boy, you know, that's free shipping on that as well. So, oh, nasty. But yeah, so I've got to f figure out what I'm doing. I haven't sent this thing off. It, it, none of these are exactly what I wanted to do because I wanted to do something a bit kooky, a bit, uh, a bit weird. And I haven't really achieved that yet. <laughs> so what I've got is a bog standard mini thing. Uh, the, the, the will work, it does work, it looks all right in the hand, it's not too expensive. So, yeah, I've done what I said I was going to do, but I haven't got my kooky thing. I'm not sure I really want to go with this, but I, I'm just curious, so I'm curious now. I think I'll have to get it uh, printed and made, but uh, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to look too good. Really, I don't know. It's not exactly, again, it's not exactly what I want to do, but uh, I'm going to send some, I want to get a couple of PCBs ready, send them off early next week, and then crack on with my kooky thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.